blind spot. They head for the aft deck. This is the lowest part of the ship and the most vulnerable. As I'm taking the basic faction now, I'm going port 20, I'm going port 20, midships, midships. If the captain can't outmaneuver the marauders, their only defense, high pressured water cannons. Their only hope, washing the attackers into the sea before the pirates can get aboard. Luckily for the crew, tonight turned out to be another close call. The fast-moving vessel was just a fishing boat crossing paths with the Atlanta. But if it's not one threat, it's another. The wind is freshening. The seas are rising. Intense tropical storms of the typhoon season command respect and demand a response. The captain can either skirt the storms, burning more fuel and losing time, or take them head on. This time, he decides to take the risk. No matter the weather, the crew still have to attend to their duties. The reefers still have to be checked, even if it means braving winds up to 70 knots. It's in conditions like these that the power supply to the reefers could fail spelling disaster for our precious cargo of Australian seafood. At the moment, the reefers are still working. Storms can severely reduce visibility, but heavy rain also plays havoc with navigation equipment. The squalls create unreadable blotches on the radar screen. The danger, there are times when the crew of the Atlanta are almost sailing blind. The Atlanta is weathering the storm, which is losing intensity. The captain's instinct was right, and his gamble to take on the storm is paying off. But now, she still has to make Hong Kong by midnight. The rest of her journey depends on it. It'll take the Atlanta 42 days to complete the full circuit from Southeast Asia to California and back again. It's a mega trip, even for a mega ship. In a year, the Atlanta sails over 260,000 kilometers, which is roughly two thirds the distance to the moon. Five miles to go next Three. Our megaship, the size of an aircraft carrier, now has to navigate Hong Kong's congested waters. Starboard At night, the bridge is not only the brains of the ship, it also becomes the Atlanta's eyes and ears. Three five zero, two miles, stopped. When a vessel registers on the Atlanta's radar, it's identified by a number and its direction and speed can be tracked by those watching from the bridge. It's another crucial piece of technology that helps a mega ship maneuver gracefully into a mega port. Bringing the Atlanta into another of the world's busiest ports at night means this small crew have to work together with maximum efficiency once again. It's just before midnight. In any 24-hour period, as many as 100 container ships sail into this harbor. The Atlanta is the last of the day. As at all the ports on the Atlanta's route, space at the dock is tight. Container ships bustle for space in this incredibly congested harbor. 
in a year. Over 22,000 container ships move over 20 million 20-foot containers through this port. Once alongside, the winches take up the slack. The last thing anyone wants is two megaships wrestling for space. After more than two weeks of travel, this is the final destination for two particular pieces of cargo. The reefer containing the Australian prawns is whisked off the ship. Not far behind is the container packed with 999 cartons of Australian wine. Containers carrying both the prawns and wine reach a cargo warehouse. This is the telling moment. The frozen seafood has passed through the tropics, crossed the equator, and arrived, still frozen after two and a half weeks at sea. By the time the seafood has been unpacked, the Atlanta has taken on her load for America, and fully laden, she sails on. On the bridge, the captain and second mate Law plot the ship's next long journey across the Pacific Ocean. Having made a long and perilous journey of their own, all 999 cases of wine have arrived intact and on time. In a year, the Atlanta will carry over 185,000 containers at an estimated value of over four and a half billion dollars. The Australian seafood and wine are just a tiny fraction of all the goods that this mega ship will transport around the globe. The Atlanta won't dock in California for another 10 days, giving some of the crew a chance for a well-earned break. Don't eat everything, right? Save us some food. Although he may not be at the helm in years to come, Captain Llewellyn, the sailor who never sleeps, trusts his young crew will be ready to steer the course of the megaships of the future. The satisfaction I get is knowing that the boys will be taking from what I've given them, and hopefully carry on running a safe, happy, well-run ship.